Shrine, your day, you know, your, it's trackable from where I did now. I was at the shrine, and now that song I enjoyed when they were playing it. I enjoyed Man. it. Very much. And that I, is I everything that... to free yourself, it must start from the name they called you or you call yourself. And that's why you put your name, your English name, they will tell you your behavior, and it comes, it prints out. That's who you are. Because they call you, that's the energy they put out. Okay, I take him upstairs. Take him upstairs. I don't want that. <laughs> so, no, it, it, it just want, it just want to play around anyway. Are you getting me? Yeah, where are you? So the name they call you hmm, determine who you are. You understand? And uh, for some of our brothers who are woke, they say they are atheists. They fail to understand this reality because in atheism, nothing exists. You're in a vacuum. Yes. Even, you're not sure if you actually exist in that the problem. They fail yeah. to understand these things. They fail to understand that there are frequencies, there are powers, actually, but they are not in the guise of a god or a devil. These are powers that you need. You know, there's none, the good and bad, you need it. For instance, if you are doing me good now, bro, I'll be doing you good. If you treat me evil, I'm going to yes. use that lower energy, that negative energy to stand against you. And that's what they call devil. And they told you you should not use it. You should only use the one that's good because they know they're going to hit you badly. And as they continue to hit you badly, just be amen, happy, you know. What shall it profit you? Love your enemy. That's the way they designed it. But we're supposed to use the chuku and the ekwensu, the higher and the lower vibration, to stay alive. Our uh, people don't know it. So for you to be free, you must check the name they call you and code your name. Code your name in your tradition because by so doing, they won't be able to understand you. Thank you, brother. Yeah, my brother. Welcome. You know, uh, I'm, I don't know whether it's uh, to get angry or what. I saw it coming. You know, when I started saying it uh, around uh, 2017, if you remember, yeah, I told you guys that a, a big censorship is coming. When they started, most people just started realizing this a uh, couple of months ago. Yeah. We've been suffering this for years now. I personally, I noticed in 2016, but I was too afraid to force it out. I was like, hey, they will say that I'm, I'm, get, I'm going crazy. You're right. Because that was just like uh, three years after I started uh, asking questions about Christianity. And if you come and join this one, then maybe they will be like, is this guy okay? He's losing it. You know, at a point, you feel like you want to start questioning yourself. But around 2017, everything showed up. I kind of started noticing that. When I start talking about some certain topic, the, the network connection seems to be slow. The picture seems, seems to be blurry. Next thing, your videos will not be uploading. People will not be seeing you. Then I started going to alternative sites online. When you listen to all these tech news on BBC, CNN, CNN Tech, and MSNBC, whatever, you will not get this information. But when you go to alternative media, you find out what they are doing to people. They are silencing the opposing voices because the internet has made everything possible. It has made it easier for people to communicate. If someone that is deceiving you is talking to you, then the same way that person came to you is the same way the, someone that will enlighten you will come to you too. So you find out that they don't want to level the playing field. They want to suppress this voice and elevate this one. Even YouTube is doing it with their artificial intelligence uh, 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 algorithm, which when you search for any news, you what you get is from news from Fox News, CNN, MSNBC, whatever. And that is what these people are applying back home. When you start saying things that are against the established order, yeah, we, we, you don't even know. You think that we have a freedom of speech in Nigeria? No, you think we are running a democracy? We've never run a democracy, not under Jonathan, not under Basanjo, not under anyone. The why we are shouting more now is because Buhari is sympathetic to some extreme uh, extremist uh, uh, forces from the northern side of Nigeria, and Boko Haram is not helping issues. That's why we are shouting about this one. But from time immemorial, they don't want this truth. 
Many people have been saying it. Fela and Nicola Bokutu will play this song. If someone had written that as a poem now, they would say that, ah, if this person had written this poem 30 years ago, it would be a prophecy. Guess what? Someone sang about it over 30 yeah. years ago. And all those things, those information are what we are trying to bring to you, but they don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear it. No, they don't want anybody that will bring a counter oppo, o, 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 counter view to what you and I were taught in school. Ask yourself, everything you, they taught you in school, are you learning anything from it? And now we've, we've touched the government, we've touched all their control system, including religion. Now here's where the pastors come in. These pastors were all Yahoo men. The way you are seeing Facebook online prophets is the way those people are. That was how they were then. If there was internet the way it is now, they would still start with the uh, uh, Facebook this thing, live. This is how these people started. When Abacha and Lord, uh, 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 he put a ban on uh, people, uh, and what did he do that time? But I know that he made it uh, very difficult for yeah. people to use phone lines. Right. You, will, you, will, you, will, you will put down a, a property, an expensive property, before you'd be allowed to have a phone line. So these guys, what would they do? Nothing else. They all started opening churches. The same way they, are, they were washing their mugus. Go ahead, go ahead. The way they were, the way they were brainwashing their mugus became the way they started brainwashing our own people. They started brainwashing everyone. And that is the thing we are fighting. This, these are the forces at work here. Stop calling Mark Zuckerberg. There are people who will be sending all these things. Yeah, Facebook, the owner of Facebook is evil. The controllers of Facebook is the Atlantic Council. They are the people that are putting these people you call your rulers, your president. They can decide to remove them. Look at who, who they used to work in 2015 election, Cambridge Analytica. They can bring the top-notch election rigging machines to your place, but they cannot bring top-notch engineers. Yeah. They can't give you quality education, but they can give you quality election regions. Do you think there is any Nigerian intelligent enough to rig an election? No. All of them are dummies. All of, if they were intelligent enough to rig an election, they wouldn't be allowing these white people to ride them the way they are riding them. My brother, I don't know if I'm making points there. Yeah, so much making points. You're making points. But you are going too deep for the layman. But I just want to say that. For the fact that you see they're controlling us for saying the mayor words, mayor words, they block you. That shows that what we're saying is actually a fact. If you are selling doubts anyway. Because I, if I'd come here and I begin to teach you, hallelujah, amen, 10%, nobody's going to touch me. Come Even though I'm making money out of people that paying back to Facebook. But they like it because yes. it, puts you down. it puts you down. But when we came up and we began to, we began to free the minds of our people, began to teach them the code, the codes, because it's all about codes, in their religion and their politics, in the educational system they find themselves, in the health system, pharmaceuticals. They know, of course, we're trying to take the food away from them. They know that if our people get the message, they, of course, will go for the natural solution for their ailments. They'll go for the herbs, of course, the food. They'll eat. go for cure instead of treatment. Treatment, you're right. So they have to protect the industry because you, you just said it. Is a is one people controlling this whole system? Europe is a playground. The source of livelihood for the Europeans is Africa. But unfortunately, the Africans that own this land do not understand this reality, and that's why we're living in this poverty. We're scrambling and hating. Today, I made a video. They blocked me on the other account, and I had to activate my second account, which I always had. Is a ify. So for all that's asking me that they saw me live, you see me from my second account. It is, it's my account. Share it and let people know about it. But we had to do this because we knew they were going to come for us. Definitely going to come for us. And let's not miss it. There are some good African leaders who want to speak the truth, who want to free the people. But the same thing happening to us on this platform will happen to them. There will be economic yes. sanctions. Arm embargo. They're going to send a lot of terrorist groups in those countries. They're going to instigate opposition and empower them. So this thing has been happening at all ramifications. 
But it's good that the people know. If you know your sickness or the problem you face, you'll be able to provide solutions to it. As we're speaking now, you're listening to me. This is the problem. There's no devil befalling Africa or evil. The evil befalling Africa are those who cannot survive without Africa. And it's not just the Europeans, as we always say. The Asians too have come to realize that they are too overpopulated. And whoever controls Africa controls the world. And they are, of course, coming to Africa. China is here. It's made in China goods now. It was made in um, Taiwan, but today it's made in China. And this is how it's coming. So our people must come to understand the fact that Facebook is not owned by Mark Zuckerberg. It's a, a brand face. I, could, I can see the fingers of the CIA, the Rothschild family, in this organization. Atlantic Council is the arm they are using. Let us yeah. just mention them. Good. Most of our people, they are, they are, see, when they tell you that you can never know those that rule you, it is because no one dares take their names on their mouths. Yeah. It's not possible. You cannot watch CNN, BBC. Why do you think those things are free on the air? Yeah. You put up a site. Why do you think it's free? If it was giving you right information or quality entertainment, it would not be free. Why do you think they will give you that 24 hours free TV? White man will give you something free. Free. And uh, you have to pay for your education. Right. You pay for your health. Hey. Well, they give you, and the church, they give you for free too. You know? Eh? Anything free from that side of the world. Free. For control. And uh, I, for me, I, I'm no longer, I'm not surprised because I've been here for a long time. I've spoken out for a long time. I've interacted with those who know more than I do and I've learned. The only crime I've committed is that I started to let other people know. That's the only crime I committed. A lot of people understand this, they form uh, secret cults and keep it within mm -hmm. themselves and use it to control the rest of them. Yes. Who do not know. But yes. we decided, okay, let's let them know. And that's a crime. And the worst thing is that those people that you are even trying to free up. Yeah, are you going? Those you want to free up are the people speaking up against you. You understand? Uh, they are the ones reporting your account. They are the ones yeah. reporting your account. That's and they'll I mean. still be going to the church to pray against the devil against uh, that is holding their destiny to die. We are the ones trying to kill the devils that are holding your destiny. You are there reporting our account. And why don't people, how why don't they see these things? Please. Most of you Christians don't even know what it means that they are shadow banning someone. You only hear it on the news that uh, it's the one who was in Facebook jail. You think it's for insult? Yeah. You think it's for, they cannot put you in Facebook jail for insult. Yeah. When you release that information or someone posts like a gay something, supporting homosexuality and all this thing, you post something that you just bring a counterpoint. Yeah. You bring a, a real counterpoint. You will see them, these fools, those motherfuckers, this, those vile, useless people. I'm not saying they are not, they are bad people, no. But they've been programmed. They are dizzy. They've been rewired. They are antiviral. They, they, they will go and, and report your account. And, mass, and Facebook I mean, love protecting those people. White people love protecting them because those are the people they want to project to you. You are the mm -hmm. information you receive. Homosexuality, no one would have tolerated it in Nigeria just 15 years ago. But as soon as you started watching it on your movies, Spartacus, Empire, and all those things, it started because you started getting used to it. They were they were priming you, they were raging you. And when we come and present such views, we will be banned. But the people that are telling you that you will go to hell will not be banned because they know that that hell does not exist. And but is it the worst? Oh, he, 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 no, somebody said that you are an antichrist. It's important that we understand that an antichrist is not somebody who hates God. An antichrist is somebody who stands against European ideologies, European imperialistic, imperialistic ideologies. Those ideologies that makes Europe good, Africa bad, whiteness, white supremacy good, blackness bad. Those who, those who are against our sisters who bleach their skin, who call their hair, 
who wear the high heel and go for surgery to reduce the size of their limbs and they straighten their nose. Right. They are the antichrist because the concept of Christ is the concept of Europeans. You understand? And I want to elaborate. For those they want to Europeanize the African mind. Yes. Let me tell you. I have this my big nose, and you have your big nose too, not because you are ugly. Hmm? You have your nose because from where you come from, the weather is very hot. You need enough air to get into this place to cool down your system. Now which is big. Know. You have your lips, you have your lips because of the way you talk. You have this hair that goes up instead of coming down because it's too hot. My brother, I know to... that we were nobody can tell me the origin of the black man. No one has been able to tell me the thing because the more they keep telling us nonsense, the more another son archaeology keep revealing he things said, that, he... that that are confusing them. And those are the places we want to we want to pick through. We want to cut through that place and get into that realm. Understand what happened. Sahara Desert, what they are telling you about the people dying in Sahara Desert, but are they telling you that they are excavating things in Sahara Desert? Excav a bridge excavation job is going on in Sahara Desert right now. The, uh, the US what? military in Bangladesh, they are, you think they are there to, to fight Boko Haram when all the guns and the tanks are passing through them? What, no, but, are, they, what are they putting? No, what, what are why, they doing there? No, why why are you talking about no why are you talking about Sahara Desert? Let's go and talk about the America itself, the Mexico, and the the Cuba. The the oldest human fossil found in these places looks just like me. Yes. The oldest human fossil found on Earth in Ethiopia, the Lucy, is one thousand one million, one point three million years. But the Adam and Eve story that's tends to promote the white supremacy just 6,000 years. So it's obvious to them, to everybody, that human, uh, human race, which is the black race, have existed billions and billions of years that mankind cannot tell. But just as about- As old as water. Yeah, just as about- As old as the, water. Yeah, just as about when we have uh, nurtured the, black, the white race and have given them their freedom to be humans like we are, they, began, they became cynical and they're trying to overrun us till now. And they have to fabricate a Jesus that looks white, a God that looks white, a St. Peter, St. Paul, and the 12 of them that looks white. See, my brother, let us even, I'm getting angry. The way you are preaching this thing as if uh, you are not angry that they banned this account or what you are saying is not. Please, no white man knew what medicine was until they came to Africa. In hotel. In hotel. No. No white man knew what using a soap to bathe was until they came to Africa. They didn't even know that you are not supposed to live in the same room, in the same place with your animals. Yes. This bestiality, this bestiality they are practicing, it did not, it did not start today. Christianity gave them, gave them civilization, not us. We were already civilized before Christianity. They copied what they learned from us and wrote it, in, encoded it in a book and gave to their people. You're right. That's why to them, Christianity is the only thing that taught them morality. Meanwhile, we've been moral before them. Why they are preaching all this thing, be good, be kind, this thing, they just learned it new. We, it was a part of us. You, I don't know if... Can you say we are now in the mud now? How uh, do we say it before people... No, no the fact is that um, don't blame anybody who fails to understand what we are teaching. Because they started from their, you no know, tender age, little, you no, know, when you were very little, but two years, three years, began to indoctrinate them. The same thing happened to me, but you know, some of us came with this uh, natural resistance to this nonsense. It never worked for me. Yeah. And when I was mature enough, I could fend for myself. I went for the studies and I got it. All we have to say to our people is to study it. They can block me, no problems. But they will never block information. Sorry, Mazi. Sorry, Mazi. Is uh no problem. No, no, okay, try to call me. He saw my post, so I'll call him back when I'm done. Uh, no, okay. well, let me invite him. Uh -huh. <laughs> invite him so that he knows I'm here. Invite him. He knows I'm here. 
So, and again, I want, I, want to, I want to bring up this thing on your program. You see, I saw some list of people they put out there that are criminals that be defrauding Europeans. I saw it. And uh, after the release, it has been tribal war going on, on the internet. Uh, they say most of the names there are Igbos. Okay. They say Igbos came up with the names of uh, Yoruba that will be uh, about to be executed in uh, Saudi Arabia. Then um, uh, Aousa, Boko Haram and all that. This is what the white man wants you to do. Hate and divide yourself. Be smart enough to understand that they don't wish you well. And please don't divide yourself for that because how could they have swiftly been able to know the names of those stealing from their daughters and sons? But they don't know the names of those taking our $16 billion electricity uh, budget to their Swiss yeah. account, to their Panama account and the offshore accounts they have. They don't, they've not told you that. They have not also told you how they have been devaluing your money to make sure that $1 yeah. is equal to 360 65 or more uh -huh. of your own money. They've not told you. They've not told you how they have been taking your resources, your petroleum resources, from your land, export it to their land, harness it, and return only PMS, gas, and maybe AGO. And the rest, about 50 other byproducts that come from a petroleum, which we know as science students, they keep to themselves. Use them in the way of eye pencil, lipstick, and other things, and reimport it back to you to buy. They don't tell you this thing. They all the back to you. They are very, very quick to tell you about Mimia, maybe $100, $100,000, $50,000. We don't have billions of dollars, billions of pounds and euros, but they don't tell you this thing. Be wise. And don't think uh, NTA, AIT channels, they know this thing. They not tell you. Because if they tell you their license will be seized, it's for you to go crave for this information. My brother, you. it was before. No, 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 no. Before I used to think, I before I used to think that they know that, but they don't want them to say it. I've I had a conversation with one of them. I don't want to mention his name. We were talking on Twitter. The guy was like, Are you serious? Hey, I've not thought about these things. Okay, I will think about it tomorrow. I'll get back to you. My dear, 2 a.m. Nigerian time, this guy is still texting me. He was still texting me. They don't even know. But what do they know? Mainstream, mainstream intelligence. Now, let, me, intelligence. Now, let me, do you know why I say so? I have, been, I have in so many occasions called into their program, and once I begin to speak towards this direction, I'm cut off. Not most time, all uh, the time. Are you serious? Yes, all the time. Radio station programs, I call in and I begin to say these things. If I begin to go the way of tribalism, they will argue with me, let's not be tribalistic. Yes. But once I begin to yes. say that our major enemy, we shy away from talking about him which is the white race that have subjugated us, the next thing is boom, 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 and it goes. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I said, okay, they know the truth, but, you know, it will surprise you. It surprised us. It surprised us. It surprised that Zenit Bank is not owned by a Nigerian. Forget about Jimovia or whatever. Well, I like, yeah. no bank in Nigeria is owned by a Nigerian. Simple it's as that. It's not possible. They are all yeah. caretakers. Yeah. So this is the fact. And they control what they say, but here we are free people speaking up. I won't be surprised if you are blocked tomorrow. You may be blocked tomorrow for allowing us to say this much because somebody's going to hear it and he's going to say it to the little boy in the street and the boy is going to say it in his classroom and that's how information disseminates. And we're going to begin to free ourselves from control. We're going to be... Mine is not about, like, I, I know I ain't going to starve, like... If I don't say this, and I'm, I'm not making money from this. I simply just want to say what I know to somebody that looks like me, my reflection out there. And I don't care the tribe it comes from. Don't let tribalism. Tribalism is a disease. If you... Let are, them ask them, what, my brother, ask them why all those people that are uh, talking about, those uh, ethnic uh, bigots, mm. all those guys that are online, Yoruba people talking against Igbo people, Igbo people talking against Bini people, why don't they take down their own account? Ask yourselves that question. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's the fact. That's the, that's that, that you, you're hitting it at the right place now. It's for people to understand. If we are able to destroy tribe in Africa and in extension destroy nationality, 
because this country, Nigeria, Ghana, now the same thing. Tribe is a subset of this whole nonsense they created in the mm. year 1886 in Berlin Conference, whereby they shared Africa with their own convenience, how they can make money out of Africa. If only African man begin to understand this thing. Eh? Is it 85 or 86? 17, 17, 80 something, the Berlin Conference. I uh, know, I think it's 18. No, it's 18. No, it's 18. I think it's 17, 80, 17, 83 or so. Let me check. No, I, I think it's 18, 85 or 86. It's within either March 85 or something. Check. My, my brother, see how, see how our, our, our brains have been, have, have been blunt, man. Yeah, so that's what I mean. So we shouldn't be so proud of this whole thing they created. We should rather look at our faces, look at our attributes as human beings and understand who we are. And yeah, 1884, 85. Yes, yes, and I know, it's around them. The Congo Conference, they, they call it the Congo Conference too. The Congo, Congo Conference that was not taking place in Congo. A Congo Conference that is not, that, was, that didn't take place in Congo. Let me, add, it? let me add something. When they finished that Congo conference, no country took Congo, but they gave Congo to a king, Leopold II, who destroyed Congo to his knee. Leopold II, what he did to Congo. Are you getting Leopold, it? Leopold, no. <laughs> These people don't know. He was we worse than Hitler. Hitler didn't do what he did. This guy amputated over 10 million people's hands. Do you know why he's amputating their hands? Because their mother failed to pick a certain bag of cotton. Then they'll go back and amputate the child's hand. And do you know the letter King Leopold II wrote to the missionaries? Go and read it. He said, make sure that whatever you teach the Africans implies or indicates in, in that the white race is better than the black, that the God must be white and the devil must be black. Go and read it yourself. If you have read these things and understand- All those means, things are open. Oh, you can source those things openly. Those information are, are not too difficult to find. They are not here. But they will not show it to you. They will bury it. No, but they you will went show to you no sense. Hold on. You went to university to study history for four years. And uh, by today's standard, if you go, you must have spent about 7 million naira to educate yourself. But you don't know this fact about yourself. <laughs> Tell me, if you take 7 million naira and go into Ochanja Memakit in Igbo land, do you know who you become after 10 years? A millionaire. Uh -huh. You need to educate people because money a is power. Millionaire. A multi-millionaire. That's why I do not uh, value their Western education. Is a is a, is a, is a lie to me because I read engineering. I cannot produce this shit, this thing. A, a farmer, it. a farmer, a farmer that a farmer that that uh, uh, invested seven million naira in farming over four years. Do you know how 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 how, how much, much it was? Have, yeah. Then you go somewhere to be lying to you that. Um, the Europeans did this. They discovered television. They discovered electricity. Mm. They discovered books. These hey. are lies. 5,000 years ago in Africa, we've been using these things. Go to Egypt and go mm. under the pyramid. You see them all there. Medicine. The is father of medicine is Imhotep, not post it, as they told you. It's Imhotep. Imhotep. So, for those of them that don't know. Don't know. And they keep what, 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 my brother, please, don't forget what you want to say. What, don't forget what you want to say. I've I've once gone to the swearing in of a of a doctor. You know, when they graduate, they they call it a swearing in. I was there. They were I was reading the oath they were taking. They said that the oath is being taken uh, on the order of Imhotep. Yes. I'm like, wait. After I woke up, I'm like, why would they be taking an oath on the, on the order of Imhotep when the Greeks brought us medicine? This doesn't make sense. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. This doesn't you. make sense. Yeah. At the end of the day, I found out that it was the Greeks that copied the Africans. Every, Are you no, seeing it? The path to European civilization is through uh, uh, the Greek. And the Greek were laborers yeah. in Egypt. And they are their neighbors anyway. So uh -huh. Africans civilized Europeans. But today they are telling you not only that they, they civilized us, but they are telling you that even we came from them in the way of Adam and Eve. The question now is, <laughs> have you ever seen a, a white couple give, black to, give birth to a black man? No. But we have seen ourselves give birth, back to, uh, birth to 
whiter than white. White. Yeah. Their binos, the curly hair, the blue eyes. Even without the binos, even without the binos, there was this Nigerian couple. I saw you. And they lab proved everything. When I saw the baby, I said, This woman, your landlord, like your landlord has disappointed your husband. But at the end of the day, uh, the baby, the the all the chromosomes. Yeah. The gene, the, the gene points to the fact that those are where those are uh, uh, the baby's parents. Those are the baby's progenitors. Yeah. No, it's, but it's proven. But, no, but we know every other race in the world, every other race came from the black man. Every other race. In short, look at the Chinese very well. I and look at the. Say, I, don't want to say, I don't want to say that every other race came from a black race. I just want them to show me any race that is older than the black race. That's all I'm asking for. Uh, yeah, it's not That's possible. just the only. I don't want to say things I can't prove, okay. but I just want to see a race that is older than the black race. Where are you going to point to? China, Japan, where? They are all 7,000 years. They are all 7,000 years. Australia. Australia, all these people. What are we even saying? In the Americas, these people you call Native Americans, were Native Americans, they migrated from Asia and killed off the black population. Yeah. They were warring tribes too. Why do you think they did not extend to somewhere like Ecuador, Mexico, uh, uh, sorry, Ecuador and uh, uh, even Chile, Guatemala area? When, when they tell you that Jamaicans, Jamaicans, they tell you that Jamaicans are from slaves. Who told you that all black Jamaicans are, were descendants of slaves? There were black people over there before. No, even America too. There were black people living there before. So yeah. what have we even said? This what, about the information. what about what about Australia? What about Australia? Uh -huh. they are uh -huh. How did they fly? How did they fly to Australia? No, they've been there. Were there. How did they fly to did they fly from Africa to Australia? How? No. Oh, that's vast, vast ocean. That vast ocean. Do you know how many oceans you pass to get to Australia? Did uh, you see, uh, my people, it's the worst, the worst idiots are not those people that don't want to hear this information. They are the ones who will sit there after listening. They still go and report your page. Yeah. Because of one political disagreement or religious disagreement, you are enslaving the minds of our people. The small avenue through which the, you are not going to hurt me financially. It's not possible. In fact, the less I stay on Facebook is the more I, I think about how I will make money. Of course, that I'm, I'm sorry for cutting you off. No, no problems. You know, you're not cutting me off. We are discussing. We are discussing. So, the presence of black aborigines in Australia to any reasonable human being, reasonable, I don't mean educated because nobody's actually educated. No. We are all yes. naturally educated. But we get miseducated as we go to their school. Simple as that. Yes. And that's why it was very difficult for them to convert our people to their ways of religion and civilization. They had to use every means. They had to even kill off some people because False. those who had natural education. False. Yes. So if you go to Australia today, you have the aborigines. They don't want some land and some case in the court. Giving them right to own some land in Australia, the end of the world, and they are black. Blacker than I am, of, of course. Hmm? It will now tell you that every other person you find, wherever you go, we're not the color. Some people came from somewhere. We have not been able to ascertain where they came from, but they just came about yes. 7,000 years ago. 6,000 plus. You just saw them. You just saw about, uh, things about their existence. Yeah. Six they were not something, some, It's not up to 7,000, my brother. It's yes. 6,019. Yes. 6,019. So we don't know where they came from, and I'm very much interested. I want to know where they came from, and I want to know why their brain yeah. functions in such a way that they feel they, they, they can't share this planet Earth with the rest of us. Yes. Take it or leave it. But I will borrow time on your, on your platform to discuss what I call human being, what I call human being. You see, you, have, you are called human being. You have human soil. You know, you have sandy, clay, loamy. Then combination of sand, clay, and loamy is called humus soil. Look at the color. It's black and it's brown. 
Go to the forest. Observe every other thing that is not green. It's black and it's brown. Humus. And they form this thing. And we are human being. Hue. Look at the color of the hue. It tells you that everything goes back to originality, this color, black and brown. And that tells you that this is the original human being. If you understand this fact and understand that this absorbs energy from the sun, you will never want to wash away this for any reason. But what can our sisters do, our brothers do, when they love St. Peter? They love St. Paul. They love Jesus. Oh. They love Mary. And these are white-looking gods, you know. They just want to look like their God, and that's why they call their hair. <clears throat> they try to, when they have a baby, they straighten the nose of the baby to look like the white man because that is beauty for them. They have created their world beauty, world beauty contest. And the, the slimmer and the lankier you look, then you be... Please, this is where, my brother, this is the one I will not tolerate. How can you tell me that, that a, slim, a slim woman is beautiful? Eh? Hello. Hello. Can you See, brother, please come back. That one he said last, lastly, got me. This beauty contest, they will say the winner, the most beautiful. Winner. Who defines beauty? Eh? See, as far as I know, as far as a lot of men are concerned, we are just watching that thing because of social programming. Almost every man I know wants a woman that has it front and back. And you will say most beautiful girl, no calls, nothing. What makes her the most beautiful girl? Who defines that beauty? Who told you? There is nothing you will, you will never pay me to date a flat ass girl. It's not possible. If you don't have a cough and you are dealing with me, you are wasting your time. No, it's from now. But we've all been programmed to believe that uh, 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 a woman should appear a certain way to be beautiful. A man should appear like this to do this one. You must uh, 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 perm your hair. You must do this thing. This is because you've been programmed from when you were a kid. The toys you were using. You find those toys, beautiful toys. And as a child, you love toys. That love is love for that thing you play with, your playmate. Then, when you are looking at it, that thing that gives you joy is shaped in a certain way. You find out that you begin to fall in love uh, with that color. You begin to fall in love with that image, that shape and everything. That is where the programming starts. Then you come, you start reading your Bible, the book of my Bible story. How many, of, how many Christians say I didn't read it? Jehovah's Witness will come. All the books Jehovah's Witness are giving you, you watch them. Jehovah's Witness are the, one of they are the foremost people that started giving us uh, these teachings in, in, in pictures. We start looking at that photos. The image of Jesus, you know, you saw it in Jehovah's Witness. The Jews, you know about, you saw their kitten, everything, their cities, every other thing. You learned it from those things. You found out that it has been programming you. How old were you before you realized that Jerusalem uh, is, a, is a city in the world? We used to think that it's in heaven. Even our Sunday school teachers taught us that. Some Sunday school teachers knew where after Angel Gabriel's house, you see Angel Michael's house, this and... We were taught all those nonsense. When we are, when they tell you, no, it's just to keep the children busy. Or No, you are brainwashing them. This is what made you all, sorry, made us all the morons we are today. And we, we are trying to bring this information to make you have pride in yourself. A lot of us don't want it. Those who do, the pastors and co will send the sheep. To massively report the account. John C. Suleiman said it. And I dared him. He closed down that account. I just wanted people to know. That what I was saying. Everything I, I was saying. Was true. And everything I said happened. These men know what they are doing. They are with the government. This left is washing the right hand. 
See, let another group of people start buying private jets. You will see how EFCC will pounce on them, but EFCC dare not touch at the boy. That country will descend in chaos. But they will bring the national budget and eat it. Nothing will happen. Are you seeing? Are you, are, are you noticing something? Are you seeing why our brothers are... He, see, for those of you that don't know him, that's the first Nigerian that burnt the Bible in Nigeria. He burnt the Bible for the first time. Looking back now, it looked ordinarily. It doesn't look like special something. But when he did it, do you know how many Nigerians that gave him days to die? Months. One was even telling me, hey, Chukuga, you that is saying, hey, you are a deceiver. You are deceiving him. Now you, you people are, are supporting him that he burnt the Bible. You, why don't you burn your own Bible? Why don't you burn your Bible and see what God will do? I say, you people, if I burn the Bible, what will happen? Hey, God will do this thing to you. God, I say, do you notice that this your God is just a violent maniac? Do you notice that everything about this your God is kill, kill, kill? And he will be like, eh? when you measure it, he will be taken aback. But rather than reasoning, <laughs> he will come back with more anger. Antichrist. Antichrist. This is what uh, the, uh, uh, the Bible talked about in the book of Revelation. Idiot. He knows the content of the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. He knows every chapter. Every book. He will tell you that Genesis has 39 chapters. This one has this. This has that. He will tell you some this, some that, to this, to that. They know that some stopped at 150. But this is just don't know anything about calculus. He don't know the difference between a rectangle and a square. But he knows that the Chronicles is different from the Corinthians. Are you seeing it? How they programmed you, they stole your history, and they have everything. The same people that came through Greece are the same. Even when they were talking about the Greeks that came, you think it's all these black haired Greeks? No. 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 When you have Greece, Greece, Greece wasn't like a country, it was city states, it was the Athenians. The Kitali stories about the Spartans. Spartans were fools. They were sacrificial lambs. They were just glorifying them on paper. The people that were eating the hotel were Athenians. And those Athenians are still ruling to this day. They've merged with the, with, with, with the Gothic tribes. The, Germania, the Germanic tribes, the Francia. Visit God. That's the European history we never learn. They came and destroyed everything. And if if anybody gets gets a peek into the secret, and if they they won't if they can't uh, 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 eliminate you, they will bring you in and you see keep it a secret. And the show goes on. There have been Africans who have been enjoying with them from time immemorial. They did not enslave the entire Africa. No. Some people in, from within call them. These are the, the information we are trying to bring. They don't want you to see it. And the ones you are trying to save, are they are reporting your account. Fools! You think it's going to make me change the tone or the way I talk to people? My dear, if you are an idiot, I'll tell you you are an idiot. Go to hell. Take down this one too. I'll open another one. I'm an adult, you can't control how I talk because if you can control my speech, you control my mind. Fuck you, go to hell. I will say what I want to say. I will say whatever pleases me. Because I'm a free, I'm a free human. I'm not a person. I'm a free human being. I may be living on a prison planet, but at least I know that I'm in a prison.
Not like other people. I'm trying to make you understand that we are only on a very giant prison. I've told, I've said it time without numbers. I will boastfully say it the day I hit I hit six feet. We've seen the truth and we are not going back anymore. It has been long time coming. It has been long coming. It didn't start today. Just that the people who had the information had no means of disseminating them. There is no generation in Africa that there weren't people opposing these people or people fighting against both religion and this system of government. There has always been those people. But because for over 300 years, the Africans were not allowed to read and write. Go and check it. All the things you, you know now, you are relearning. The writing you're using now, this is not the writing of your ancestors. Your ancestors use images, pictograms and everything because they know that words, language change. But images and those symbols, those markings, geometrics, that's what you're looking at. That it will never change. That was why they put it on symbols, all these things, say uh, mask. The, the the oracle. What do you call oracle? Those things are pieces of information. Those are pieces of information. You don't even know what those things, the, the, the significance of all those markings there. You think they were just jobless? They were just hitting metal on, on, on woods? Are you okay? If you're an Igbo man, go and check what in CBD is. Go and check the writings on Nsibidu. Then go to any old ancient mask still left in your place. Go and check and look at it. Those are the words written there. These are information. Could have been for leaves. What each leaf, every leaf you see, what is doing? The herbs, the herbal treatment, cure. Different cures. To many ailments. Why do you think all those in Europe, they had the, the black death, the bubonic plague, the this, this, the what and that. Why didn't we have it in Africa? They told you that we should be grateful that they gave us penicillin. What? Penicillin which you invented when? We've been using lime. We've been using lime and garlic forever and you just invented penicillin. Please, the people who should be grateful to you are your own people. Not us, and these are the information we are trying to bring to you. Don't expect us to tone it down. Because if you have the type of information we have, and see how dumb and deaf our people are, you will be angrier than me. That's what, go and check on my wall, you see people getting angry. You see these churches, I am not even the worst person they will meet. There are people who are ready to go and burn down every church down right now. They will not see those ones. Those, that is what you feel when you just realize newly that religion is a scam, that even the system of government you are living is a scam, even the tribal politics you've been playing is a scam, everything now 419. Like Bob Mali said, the truth is an offense, but it's not a sin. If I must offend you with the truth, believe me, I will offend you till the die die. Me, me, I will stay in the midst of people that hate me and be saying what I'm saying. Ask those that know me. I don't panic for what? Then I will come online because of what an idiot that can't even stand me on the road and talk to me. He will say, will report me, I will go and uh, mix, mix water, add water to what I'm saying to make it apply much. We will not. My brother and the saucer, please, I've told you people, Open secondary accounts. 
have it ready. The censorship is not going to stop. The censorship is not going to stop. And for the fact that they are censoring us means that they know that we exist. They've heard it. They can't ignore us anymore. They can never ignore us. They can't say they are not hearing the message anymore. Go and check it. When you start sounding like me in your street, they will tell you, oh, he's not sounding like those people. That means they've given us a group. Rejoice! Without organizing any conference, without organizing any religious body, without anything, just by opposing things with common sense, we've been classified as a group. And you know that human beings are as curious as monkeys. Now they'll be coming to a, let me listen to uh, What are they even saying? What are they even saying? They'll be like, eh, all these things they're saying, eh, but they are making sense here. This and that. Before you know it, they'll start asking you, but please, are you trying to tell me that all this heaven and hell is not true? That is where you sit them down. And tell them get, to, get ready, to get ready to be wild. You start laying the facts. Laying out facts, you see them open. Even a professor will be like, man, sometimes I'll be talking with some men. I'll be talking with some men. <laughs> I'll be sipping tea or water. They don't know that I'm just trying not to laugh. Why am I laughing? A few years ago, I would be looking at these people as bastions of intelligence, the Olympus of knowledge. Not knowing that these guys are just empty vessels. Empty vessels. Empty vessels, all of them. Look at even your professor Lumumba. Is it Lumumba or Mulumba? Your pro pro professor Lumumba that goes about preaching Africa, this Africa, that. Look at the tweet he put out there that about paying his tithes. Imagine. The person you people are saying, that, what is that guy saying? What? Just tell me something special that guy is saying. You just need to go and listen to the speech of Thomas Sankara or Samora Mashel. Then you don't even need to listen to him. He doesn't have anything. There is nothing special about the message he's passing. It's a good message, but I don't consider it a, a, a high standard message. It's not top notch. I'm not going to admit that it is. Because he's saying it in the midst of morons, dummies, and they're applauding and he's getting followers, doesn't mean that I will accept it as a top knowledge. No. He's still talking mainstream intelligence. We are talking about understanding the matrix. So, guys, we will keep on doing it. We will keep on doing it. They are not going to stop us. We are already there. We just need another leader, a leader from West Africa, that will, in the in 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 the shape of uh, uh, of uh, 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 Paul Kagame. Imagine we Niger Africans that don't even know. We don't even know an average of all the 62 people watching right now. Eh? Not up to 10 of us can mention 30 African presidents. But those that know maybe 3 or 4 will surely know Paul Kagame because of what the man is doing. Because of what the man And that's what we need in West Africa. In West and Central Africa. Just one in the West and one in Central and everything will be... They know. The guy that, that won the Congolese election, that guy would win again the next election, I believe it. And that man will be the next Fab Patrice Lumumba. We are going places. We will not stop. We will not stop. <laughs> said the man's hit. He said, Mari Wari Muki, I'm Ha! Pastor. Pastor Wari Muki Mani. Hallelujah. I found you online. Glory to God. <laughs> you people are the reason we have all these problems. You came late. I suggest you go and start watching it. After. And you, 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 the way you are doing this, your pastor thing, I've told you people, drop that thing. You don't want to hear. People are riding at, on your backs and fooling our people back home. Look at in Kenya, Nigerians are there now. Pastors everywhere. Nigerian pastors everywhere. Look at what they are doing to your women. Look at what they are doing to your women. The, the people that, that can't fix their own country are the ones going to fix your own through prayers. 
are you are you serious? The people who, who, who ran away from Nigeria because the place is bad are now trooping into Kenya. You see the way you see, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. wait. If you people don't chase those people away, <laughs> you haven't seen anything. They will impregnate the entire village. You <laughs> see? They will make you people minority in your country, I'm telling you. You see all those pastors and all these children they are having. Hey, Nigerian men are not like, Nigerian men are not like other East African men. Nigerian men love their children. They will not abandon their children and as long as they keep leaving those kids, 25 years today, those kids, of course, they will be smarter than all those Kenyan kids. What do you think will happen? <laughs> Just hope that Africa would have moved from this tribalism and ethnic nonsense, this country bullshit. If not, there will be a very big civil war there. I'm telling you. Send those Nigerian pastors away. They will finish you people. Go and check Uganda. Okay, you people, let me ask you people, wait. <laughs> let me ask you people this thing. A Nigerian pastor, eh, will leave Nigeria and come to Kenya to preach. He can't go to northern Nigeria and preach. What is the distance between Nigeria and Burkina Faso? Why don't you go and preach in Burkina Faso? What's the distance between Nigeria and Mali? Then what's the distance between Nigeria and Kenya? Now, why would he leave Mali that is his backyard there and go come to Kenya? When they are seeing this vision that God is sending them, God is sending me to go and preach here. God is not sending them to go and preach in Egypt, in Tunisia, in Nigeria. God is not sending them to go and preach in Afghanistan. Are you noticing something? Iraq is not a place. Yemen. God, those people don't need salvation. Is this what you are trying to tell me? <laughs> I've told you people. Don't say I didn't warn you. Lot of pastors in Kenya, I know of uh, basic. You haven't seen anything. You haven't seen anything. They will finish you people. You will see. My people, so that's it. Uh, I know to this uh, evening emergency broadcast is for it's uh, in respect uh, to what happened to our brother in his account. Please, guys, go add him uh, on this new account. As a if there's a fan Chuku account is uh, down. And I'm, I believe they will still scrub it off the internet the way they scrubbed off uh, my account. Guess what? We don't care. We don't care. We'll keep going. We'll keep doing it. Thanks, guys, for joining me. Help me share this video. Share it on groups. Share it on any group. I don't want to start sounding like pastors. Share you 10 times. I receive 10 folds of blessing within 10 days. The Lord shall supply your needs within 10 days. If you, someone watching me, if you can share this now. Share it, share it, share it, and let the Lord bless you. Share it and receive, receive the Lord's blessings. <sighs> Ashi. Honors come. Please let me share this and let us... Uh...